Judy Bloom, Freckle Juice, Chapter 4 Pretty soon something happened, all right. Andrew turned greenish and felt very sick. His stomach hurt. At four o'clock, Mrs. Marcus came home. yoo Andrew, where are you? she called. Andrew heard her, but he couldn't answer. He was too weak. He made a small noise. Andrew Marcus, is that you? His mother stood in the doorway of her bedroom. What are you doing in here? I told you to play outside. And why didn't you change your clothes? Didn't I say to change your clothes? Andrew made another noise. Mrs. Marcus looked at his face. Andrew, you're green. Absolutely green. Are you sick? Andrew nodded. He was afraid if he opened his mouth, he'd lose the freckle juice. What hurts? Mrs. Marcus asked, feeling his forehead. Andrew moaned and held his stomach. Oh, my, appendicitis. You must have appendicitis. I'm going to call the doctor. No, I'd better just drive straight to the hospital. No, I'll call the ambulance. Andrew shook his head, but his mother didn't notice. She said, don't move. I'm going into the kitchen to use the phone. I'll be right back. Andrew rolled around moaning. Mrs. Marcus came back to her bedroom in a hurry. Andrew Marcus, I've just seen that mess in the kitchen. Did you or did you not make something and eat it? Oh, no, I forgot to clean up. Now she knew. Well, he didn't care. His stomach was killing him. Well, young man, I'm surprised at you. Surprised. Mrs. Burroughs offered you milk and cookies and you refused. Then you came home and made yourself an... an I don't know what, and scared me half to death thinking you had appendicitis. I always thought you had you were more sensible, Andrew. I just can't believe it. Andrew closed his eyes. Now, young man, you are going to bed. Andrew thought that was the best idea he'd heard in a long time. Mrs. Marcus gave him two spoonfuls of pink stuff and tasted like peppermint. Then she tucked him into bed. Maybe the freckles would come out while he was sleeping. Right now, he didn't care much if they ever came out. He hated Sharon. She'd done it on purpose just to get his 50 cents. He'd show her she'd be sorry someday. He drifted off to sleep. He had terrible dreams. A big green monster made him drink two quarts of freckle juice three times a day. Every time he drank it, the monster got freckles, but Andrew didn't. Andrew woke up sweaty. His stomach still felt funny. His mother gave him two more spoonfuls of that pink stuff, and he fell asleep again. The next day, Andrew stayed home from school. He only looked in the mirror once. No freckles. He wasn't surprised. At noon, he drank some hot tea. He wasn't ever going back to school. Sharon wasn't going to see him without freckles, she thought. She thought she was so great. Well, she wasn't going to get the chance to laugh at him. No, sir. But the following day, his mother woke him up and sang, Time for school, rise and shine. Don't forget to wash your neck and behind your ears. She pulled the covers off him. I'm not going to school today, Andrew said. I'm never going to school again. He hid his head under his pillow. So, I've got a school dropout in second grade? We'll have to do something about that. Here are your clothes. I want to see you up and dressed before I count to 15, or you're going to take three baths a day every day for the next 10 years. Andrew got dressed. He ate breakfast bun and drank some milk, but he couldn't let Sharon get away with it. He had to do something.